So I think what I'm going to tell you fits very well into the, uh, the talk that we just heard. There is a serious problem that we're going to face. Uh, we are 7 billion on Earth, and this number is just going to grow. So we heard a beautiful talk about what we potentially could do to mitigate the problem that we are going to face about the shortage of food. And um, the technology that I described in uh, the previous talk was about regenerative medicine. It could be with uh, certain modification to, to, can be applied to engineer meat. So I don't think that I have to go through this list what and why would we want to engineer meat? There are many reasons that this would be very helpful. Uh, meat production is very resource intensive. And um, if we could just decrease the demand for the resources by doing something using the technology that I described, I think that would be great. So, uh, we started thinking seriously about what else the technology can do, and then we arrived at this point of engineering meat. So Mark asked me, how should I introduce this notion? Uh, what kind of meat? Synthetic meat? No, 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 that's not, that's not. This is not synthetic meat. This is real meat because it is, it is made from the same cells that real meat is composed. So I think the best word is in vitro meat. Lab meat, the, the, the lab meat I mean, is maybe not that great. Think engineered meat, probably one of those is, is pleasing to, to, to everybody, so you can pick whichever you want. Okay, so those are the, the problems, and I could go on and on and on. For example, did you know that 30% of the vegetarians, they don't eat meat not because they hate meat, but they really don't like the way we process meat. There are huge segments of populations that have no access to meat. There are other huge segments of populations that don't eat or some kind of meat because of religious considerations. There are one billion Hindus. They don't eat beef. You know why they don't eat beef? Because of the many thousands of gods in Hindu religion, many thousand apparently reside in the stomach of the cow. So you cannot slower, slaughter the cow. But my, my Indian friends are telling me that they like beef. So if they are not in India, they eat beef. So if we could present them, for example, with beef that does not require the slaughtering of cows, they would eat it. So that's what we're trying to do. So I just remind you, you have seen the printer in action. Uh, I talked about blood vessels. I talked about heart patches. Uh, look at what we're trying to do here. So we can build practically anything from living cells. So we take a bunch of cells, smooth muscle cells, that's a major component of meat, and we print them. We prepare our beloved binding particles, and we print them in a structure that eventually would remind you uh, a beef patty or a little hamburger. So this is work in process or progress. And uh, we prepared uh, some constructs for here for this purpose, and I'm just going to eat it in front of you. <laughs> this is my pre-lunch snack, and it's a healthy one. So. This is what we prepared. So you say, hmm, this doesn't look that appealing. And we, we just learned that food has to be appealing. It has to, be, it has to taste well. Well, it's not yet appealing. <laughs> but it will. But I can tell you that it tastes good. I, I already tested it. Well, I'm not advocating that you should. But here is how it goes. So I have here a construct similar to that, small. We're not yet in the stage of you can eat, you, you can eat, uh, how do you say that? Uh, you can eat all or and you go to the, to the, the restaurants and they say, eat what you, how much you want. Okay, all you can eat, thank you. 
So we're not yet at that stage, but, but um, hopefully we will. So here is my little construct. I'm going to put a little oil into this bracklet pen. Olive oil, yes. I'm going to heat it. I preheated the, the heater. Oh boy. Yes. Here's the little patty. <laughs> Just to make sure that it tastes good, <laughs> I'm going to put a little salt. A little pepper. I don't want to eat it raw, so I warm it up. And I know how much I have to heat it up so that it's ready to be eaten. It's not bad. Thank you.